Hi everyone, welcome to week four of Medical Language One. This week we are continuing with the topic of orthopedics. Um, however, we're looking at the other part of it, so to speak. So last week the focus was on the skeletal system. This week the focus is on the muscular system. And as we know, orthopedics is those two systems working together. So we're gonna be looking at the structures of the muscles, um, how, you know, how they actually produce movement, um, what are some of the common diseases um, and, you know, problems that can occur with, with the muscles? And then, of course, we're going to look at the words associated with those. Um, so orthopedics, as you recall from last week, is the study of the anatomy and physiology of the muscular and skeletal system. So last week was the skeletal system. This week we are now looking at the muscular system. So um, the muscular system has to work in conjunction with the skeletal system to be able to move the body. Um, as we talked about last week about how many bones there were in the body, there are even more muscles in the body and that includes the tendons and other structures that go along with the muscles themselves. Some of them you can see, some of them you can't see. Um, so that's what this particular section is all about. Um, so. In addition to being able to move, moving the bones, um, you know, supporting the skeletal system, they also do a lot of things internally, but we're going to be focusing mainly on the skeletal muscles in, in this particular chapter. Um, so they also will talk a little bit about the cardiac muscle, which is obviously the heart. And those smooth muscles, so smooth muscles are the ones that make things happen inside. Um, so digestion, those types of things are, are um, handled by the smooth muscles within your uh, muscular system. Okay, so here's just an example of the what a muscle looks like, um, the actual pieces and parts of it, how it connects to the skeletal system and makes it move, makes it do things. Now they're gonna have you go through and look at some of the different muscle names and their meaning, meanings. Again, we're gonna break down those word parts. Um, big part of this particular course is understanding those word parts and how they um, you know, relate to each other so that we can identify them. Um, and then the movement of the muscle is going to give us information about the type of muscle. So what does it do? Does it flex? Does it extend? That type of thing. Um, you know, we may not be able to all do this, um, but our muscles um, do have the ability to do some of these things, right? Um, so that's what they're going to talk about. All the different things that you're able to do with your muscles whether it's just turning your head and moving it back and forth, or whether you can do what my grandkids call crisscross applesauce. Um, and they were really upset that grandma couldn't quite do it this way. Um, <laughs> although I probably never would have gotten up off the floor if I would have. So that's what we're going to be looking at. Um, the muscles um, all throughout the body and how they work. Um, and then in addition, what we really you know want you to go from from once you know these different muscles and what they do is what are some of the things that can go wrong, right? What are some of the diseases of those muscles and how do we treat them? So atrophy simply means, um, you know, shriveling up basically. Um, so you've got everything from that to fibromyalgia, which you may be familiar with, um, you know, having to do with, with that pain in the muscle. Um, and then here's a few others. Um, some of them are things that just happen, um, you know, a, a one off kind of a thing, or you might have an actual um, degenerative disease that um, keeps you from being able to perform everyday tasks. So that's what you're going to look at um, in the second part of this chapter is all of those different diseases of movement um, of muscles, um, everything from, you know, the leg muscles all the way up to the, the, um, the muscles in your head and face. Okay, um, here's a few for the arm. Okay, and then what do we do to diagnose those? We're gonna look at those laboratory tests. Um, they're gonna look for specific things in your blood to indicate um, extra proteins and things such as that. Um, and then how do we fix it? Medical procedures, um, surgical procedures, a lot of times physical therapy is needed when we're talking about this particular um, 
type of uh, uh, body system, the, the um, bones and the muscles. However, um, we may need to do surgery. So they're gonna talk about all the different surgeries that may or may not be needed. And then of course, you're gonna have your abbreviations at the end of this chapter. So as you go through this week's material, if you have any problems or questions, please let me know and have a great week.